All week we're taking a special look at solutions to the country's economic crisis. Tonight, what will it take to fix the job market with unemployment at a 16-year high? Elkhart, Indiana was once America's RV capital. It has seen unemployment jump higher and faster than anywhere else, from 4.4 percent to 12.4 percent in one year. So ABC's Bill Weir paid a visit. What's the fix? Well, the Obama administration hopes to make over the entire economy through education, innovation, and renovation of all the worn and weathered corners of America. Many, many uh, green jobs and weatherization, new infrastructure jobs, don't require a huge amount of retraining. The problem is even the most shovel-ready projects, the roads, the bridges, the upgrades to schools, all that takes at least 120 days to get going just from the time they get the money. Use this time to get more education. Those with strong, broad, general education, when they switch jobs, their wages go down less. Annette Silver is one good example. When she lost her job at the RV plant, she applied for a $6,000 state grant and is now learning how to make artificial hips and knees for the booming orthopedic industry. I've been out of school for 26, almost 27 years. So jump back in to school again. It's just overwhelming. I'm a very determined person. And a lot of the, the people here are determined because they're scared. Economists agree that the biggest long-term fix will come with innovation, especially in new energy. With the right tax incentives, Indiana wind farms could ramp up production. And Bill Keith could hire more people to build his invention, a solar-powered attic fan. In areas that do have incentives, we can hardly keep the stuff in stock. So were that to be a federal thing, I mean, we would just take off gangbusters. But all these ideas will take months, at least. And in the meantime, the guys in Elkhart say all they can do is apply, volunteer, and pray. Is it tough to stay optimistic? At times. At times it is. But you just keep on going. Bill Weir, ABC News, Elkhart, Indiana.